Hey, Naturally Curly World, it's me, Eyebrowless Evelyn, back again with another episode of Watch and Go, the series where we review things that we watched while we do our wash and goes, our hair care routines. In this episode, I am going to review BoJack Horseman season four. Where have you been? Where have you been? Has the whole world gone crazy? Then you would be so overwhelmed by the unbearable ludicrousness of the situation that you would get in your car and drive to Hawaii. Wherever you are, I hope you're happy. I really do, Bojack. The mailbox is full. Goodbye. Actually, I'm not going to do a wash and go. I'm just going to take off my head wrap, wash the hair, retwist it, and put the head wrap back on. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the life that I'm living right now. Don't even ask. So first I'm going to wet my hair with some water and I'm going to detangle it and eventually co-wash off camera with the Briogeo Be Gentle Be Kind Avocado Quinoa Co-wash. All right, Bojack Horseman season four. I have been an avid fan of Bojack Horseman since it came out. In the comments of previous uh, Watch and Goes, a lot of y'all have requested that I review Big Mouth. I'm not going to watch Big Mouth. That's not my genre. It's not my type of humor. Um, from what I've seen from the, the trailer, that is. Uh, I'm more of a Bojack Horseman, you feel what I'm saying? So in the in the series, um, it's in this universe, there are humans and then there are people who are also people, but they're animals. So Bojack Horseman is this actor um, who was really popping in like the 90s. He was in the sitcom and everything, but he has since fallen from grace fallen out of the limelight, but he's just generally not happy. He's not a happy person. So um, the show really follows his story to discovering who he is and who he's not, um, follows the shenanigans of um, the people who are close to him, the people who he pushes away because he's a trash person. Whoever writes this show, the many people who probably write the show. They just have a way of making very serious topics funny somehow. So an example of some of the funny ways that they talk about serious topics is, so Bojack Horseman is an actor, right? So there's a whole you know section of the show that deals with like the talent agency and his former talent agent or manager and you know, people getting jobs and stuff like that. So there's this actress who was in a movie that had guns in it, but there was actually a mass shooting um, in the country. And they were like, damn, we gotta push back the, uh, the movie release. So while they were in this meeting discussing, you know, how they would proceed with no sensitivity whatsoever, every time they would say something insensitive, the whole boardroom would go thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. And it's true because that's what we do. We just do thoughts and prayers, all type of thoughts, all type of prayers, no type of action, no legislation. So in season four, we dive more into Bojack's um, family life. He has uh, potentially this other horse, horse girl, <laughs> who's claiming that she's his daughter and that throws him into an existential crisis because he doesn't want another him in the world, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, it's a lot going on. It's one of those shows where you forget you're watching a cartoon <laughs> and you really start to feel for the characters um, and what they're going through, but then you laugh, you know what I'm saying? My favorite character though is um, Todd Chavez, voiced by Aaron Paul. You know, you might know him um, as, what was his name? Jesse? Yeah, Jesse Pinkman in Breaking Bad. And I think that voice choice is brilliant. Like he is so good as the coolest yet lovable, um, best friend, you know, the best friend you could ever ask for, but he doesn't really know what's going on ever. All right, so I have detangled my hair and I'm gonna go and rinse out the co-wash now, scrub my scalp, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to apply my leave-in, which is Camille Rose Naturals Coconut Water Leave-In. I've used this plenty, it's a staple of mine. And then I'll be back to twist up my hair, you know what I'm saying, tend to my scalp, do a little scalp treatment, and talk some more about Bojack. All right, so I have co-washed my hair, 
applied my leave-in conditioner, my hair feels soft and squishy. So now I'm just going to twist my hair up using uh, Alok Natural Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer. If you are a fan of Bojack Horseman, you know that um, they always include like an episode or two that's really experimental, really artistic. I remember in seasons past, they had one that was completely silent because they were underwater for whatever reason. And you're like, ooh, that's a new concept. Um, so in this season, season four, I think it was episode 11, maybe? Um, towards the end of the season where um, it focuses on his mom's story, how she grew up, and it's told through the lens of her active dementia. So she, the episode is like in a blank space, you know, she ain't got no memories, but the memories that she does have come in and out and like blend with real life. So like you see her as a child in the same scene as like her current life, um, which I thought was really cool and a really interesting way to um, illustrate <laughs> literally um, and figuratively the like the toll that dementia can take and what it might look like. Her mom, Bojack Horseman's grandma, was lobotomized <laughs> because um, her son, who is Bojack's, what is that, uncle? AKA his mom's brother, who was a soldier, um, he died in war, right? And so that broke his mom's, her mom's heart, his grandma, and she was just never the same. And so the solution to all her emotions, which the dad called um, women feelings, <laughs> was to lobotomize her, basically pick out a piece of her brain and she was rendered a zombie. Uh, and so that really affected the child at the time who was, who now is Bojack Horseman's mother who has dementia. So she saw the way women were treated. Her mom, who is now a zombie and has not even like her whole brain, tells her to never love anybody ever again because what all that does is break your heart when they leave or they die. Um, and so she literally never loved anybody ever again, including her own son. You think I'm talking about some like soap opera? I'm talking about a cartoon of a horse, y'all. Okay, so this is season four. This is not, you know what I'm saying? This is more of an established show. Is season four better or worse than previous seasons? I would say it's right on par um, with previous seasons. It's definitely not worse. The episodes are only half an hour long so you can really like binge it pretty easily you shouldn't watch it around children there is like drug use and like um alcohol abuse <laughs> it's not big mouth all right y'all caping so hard for big mouth y'all go ahead and watch big mouth if you want <laughs> but i feel that bojack is the superior animated series all right so i twisted up my hair and now I'm going to use the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Scalp Treatment because my scalp has been on one lately. I don't know why, but I'm gonna give this a try. I don't know if it works. I've used it a couple times. Uh, I don't know, feels good, nice and tingly. So, Bojack Horseman, I give it a six out of five stars in general as a series and also the uh, season four specifically. Um, I think it's great. I think everybody should give it a try. Everybody I've met who's like, oh, I tried to, you know, get into it, but I just couldn't get into it. <laughs> They're stupid. They don't know what's good. They don't have good taste. Believe me. From the parallels to current events or what's happening in our actual society now to the little jokes that they slide in there. I think you should give it a try. Um, in the comments below, let me know if you've ever watched BoJack Horseman and what you thought about it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you like Big Mouth instead? <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe. We post Watch and Go every Wednesday, so we'll see you next week. Bye.